bizarre structures, galactic projectiles, fascinating phenomena. A look at the processes observed across the gigantic expanses of the universe regularly proves to us with certainty what cosmic diversity is inherent in space. A short time ago, however, a mysterious object moved into the center of scientific interest, one heading directly for the most powerful representative of our planetary neighborhood, Jupiter. Fortunately, however, terrestrial astronomers were able to document this amazing event in detail with the help of sophisticated instruments. We'll now show you what we know about this exciting event and what other groundbreaking discoveries researchers have made in the universe in the recent past. Want to learn more about the most fascinating discoveries and unique spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to join us from now on on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Impact on Jupiter whether it's the fabled Great Red Spot or other cyclones of this gigantic magnitude or the countless natural satellites, some of which may be home to extraterrestrial organisms, the massive Jupiter and its companions make scientific headlines with reliable regularity. In the course of unmanned exploration missions carried out so far, we have already succeeded in revealing and unraveling some great mysteries of this imposing gas giant. The fact that we don't always require a direct research flight to observe another Another breathtaking spectacle on the largest planet in the solar system, however, is shown by an exciting report that was published a short time ago. It's not only highly complex space probes and space telescopes that constantly set their sights on our galactic neighborhood. There are also many terrestrial cameras, no matter whether from the ranks of the experts or interested amateurs, directed at the starry sky. All scientific prognoses and careful theories aside, sometimes it's sheer coincidence that helps terrestrial researchers to a breakthrough discovery. This is what happened a few weeks ago, when many terrestrial cameras unexpectedly caught a process that took place in the realms of Jupiter. The bright flash captured on camera suggests that something very large hit the violent gas planet. If this assumption turns out to be true, it would be part of a series of comparable events that have been observed in recent years. Since comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter in 1994, experts have recorded seven other collisions between the gas giant and a galactic missile. In reality, however, the dark number of these impacts is likely to be significantly higher. As the largest representative of our planetary system, Jupiter naturally comes with an enormous gravitational influence, which attracts many cosmic objects. The problem? From our terrestrial point of view, it's not possible in most cases to observe such impacts directly. To estimate how many objects hit Jupiter within a year, some astronomers performed a mathematical investigation. The result? Each year, up to 60 objects are likely to collide with the imposing gas giant. While the majority of these events escape our terrestrial view, those that we can observe directly present themselves in the form of bright flashes of light. These typically occur when the impacting space rocks burn up in the outer layers of the gaseous planet. However, these dazzlingly bright impact signatures may be obscured by the swirling cloud layers of the giant celestial body. A look at the statistics shows that the cases in which we have observed collisions on Jupiter have become more and more frequent in recent years. While between the years 1994 and 2009, we were only able to document two such impacts, researchers counted five collisions on the gas giant from 2016 to 2021 alone. You could say the numerous impacts on Jupiter also benefit our blue home planet. Thanks to its powerful gravitational pull, the gas giant acts as a kind of cosmic shield, drawing into its orbit those space projectiles that might otherwise be headed for our Earth. Odd Radio Circles the fact that we are still far from having decoded all mysteries of the universe, in spite of all scientific realizations, is clearly demonstrated by the odd radio circles located some months ago. In detail, the so-called odd radio circles are mysterious formations that are only visible in the radio range. Because of their unique characteristics, these orcs do not fit into any known class of cosmic objects. It seems that experts have discovered a completely new class of radio astronomical objects, 
in the form of orcs. So far, we know that the objects are composed of a circular disk, often with luminous edge regions. Even more exciting, in some cases the center of an odd radio circle is even graced by a galaxy. This groundbreaking discovery was made possible with the help of the Australian ASCAP, a network of countless radio antennas covering an area of 1.5 square miles in the desert. Since the experts simply could not explain the bizarre phenomena at the beginning, they initially believed that their terrestrial instruments were malfunctioning. However, after four orcs were added to the star charts in the meantime, it's clear that the structures in the radio range are undoubtedly real entities. But what are these energy circles in detail? So far, researchers can only refer to vague theories regarding this question. It's conceivable that the orcs represent remains of exploded stars, but there's also the possibility that they are so-called Einstein rings of curved space-time, which are formed when a massive structure, such as a galaxy, acts as a kind of gravitational lens between our blue home planet and another object. This is hotly debated among scientists. In any case, we're looking forward with bated breath to the insights that researchers will gain regarding these unique structures in the future. Birth of a Magnetar the year 2020 presented a significant milestone for astronomers. For the first time in the history of space exploration, experts were able to observe the birth of a magnetar. These unique celestial bodies are special neutron stars that exhibit extremely intense magnetic fields. The outburst of brightness that accompanies the merger of a binary star system is in turn known as a kilonova. In May of last year, the light of a kilonova finally reached our blue home planet. It was the strongest burst of two merging neutron stars ever observed by terrestrial scientists. After the experts had taken a detailed look at the collected data, there was no disputing it. For scientist Wenfei Fong's team, the observed kilonova represented the birth of a magnetar. After the two neutron stars collided with each other, an intense gamma ray burst occurred, which was accompanied by a long-lasting afterglow in the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The scientists again encountered a special phenomenon, an unusually strong infrared signal, which clearly exceeded all other bursts recorded within the framework of kilonovas. According to the unanimous opinion of researchers, the cause of this phenomenon is almost exclusively the birth of a magnetar. In other words, the orbiting neutron stars combine to form a much heavier celestial body. Its charged core henceforth spins so rapidly that it acts like a cosmic dynamo, generating incomparably intense magnetic fields. Origin of a Fast Radio Burst a few months after this groundbreaking discovery, the corresponding class of celestial bodies should again become the focus of scientific attention. In doing so, this discovery could help to unravel one of the greatest mysteries of current space exploration, the origin of so-called fast radio bursts. These fast radio bursts are short bursts of radio radiation that usually last only a few milliseconds. For a long time, researchers had to remain in the realm of speculation when trying to find the sources of these fast-moving bursts. In April 2020, however, scientists succeeded for the first time in locating the origins of these radio waves in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. The galactic search for clues that was then carried out by experts ultimately led them to a magnetar located some 30,000 light years away from our terrestrial home. While quite a few researchers were already convinced before this discovery that magnetars are possible generators of fast radio bursts, the star SGR 1935 plus 2154 was claimed to provide the final proof that the corresponding celestial bodies are indeed capable of forming the fascinating radio bursts. Even if this discovery creates cosmic shockwaves, it doesn't mean that we have solved all the mysteries of fast radio bursts. In particular, the fact that in some cases the fast radio bursts are a one-time event, while in others they seem to follow a repeating pattern, still has experts befuddled. Moreover, it's conceivable that magnetars are not the only galactic entities that produce such lightning-fast radio bursts. Whether fast radio bursts are also produced by the merger of two white dwarfs, by eruptions on a flare star near the sun, or by the evaporation of a black hole, is a question to be clarified in future investigations. We want your opinion. Which galactic discovery intrigued you the most? 
Just write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback on today's video in the comments. Are you interested in more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits to go to the other videos on our channel. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.